Here's my pile of metal. This is all trailer frame. It's I-beam, 18 feet, 6 inches long. Um, the trailer itself is going to be about 20, 23, 24 feet. Uh, that'll give me a cutting length of about 20 feet, which is perfect. Got them spaced out a little. As you can see, this one's not bent really at all, but this one's a little titty wonkus. All right, here it is laid out. I leveled a four by four post on each end. And as you can see, this is the one that has a slight bend in, but I've marked where the good, uh, where the bend starts, starts here, and the apex of it is right here in the middle. So I figure I weld it here and figure out the distance, which I believe is 29 and something, and then make supports and uh, use a come along to make sure it meets exactly where the support is. And then uh, as I work, keep on working down, I'll work out that kink. I, um, so far, pretty square. Um, now here's where it starts getting a little wonky. There's a kick out um, of the frame a little bit. And as I work the kinks out on this piece, it uh, keeps coming down here. And that's why I didn't weld this end plate on yet. But uh, as you can see here, it's supposed to be touching that piece of metal, and it's not. So I'm gonna use a come along. And just like that, it's straightened. As you can see, it's meeting perfectly now. I'm gonna tack weld on the sides first, and I'll release the strap. So I'm laying out my tongue design here. As you can see, I flipped it over and welded it from the inside. All right, so I got the tongue welded on. It's flipped over right now. Got welded on the top side, I'm gonna weld on the bottom side. Here's the axle, and uh, I cut the brackets off, the mounting brackets, because I need to move them in about six inches. And uh, I got my springs and everything. All right, I got the uh, back bracket brackets welded on and the shackles installed and so now what I'm gonna do is uh, fabricate the front brackets <coughs> all right so the axles on I flipped the trailer over finished up my welds up front and it's good so what I need to do now is make the leveling jacks not make I already bought the leveling jacks is figure a way to mount them all right I welded it onto here and now I've got this clamped and I'm going to uh, weld there and there all right both of them are welded on and i welded upside down too and got them so i have the sawmill spaced out uh, all the uh i call them bunkers but the cross pieces but i drilled each hole um so that it'll be on the inside of the i-beam uh my existing jack stands i'm gonna work on 45s for them because i saw this one flex a lot under weight about to weld this 45 up as you can see, I got a piece of uh, Schedule 80 pipe that's uh, about a fourth of an inch thick wall. And I cut it at a 45, and then I cut a piece of flat bar. All right. I finished all my 45s. Also put a 45 going on the tongue down. So, real strong. It's finished, and it is good. I leveled it, I just bolted it. As you can see, bolts the shims, washers, everything. Sawmill trailer is finished. The uh, trailer is about 26 feet long. Um, the sawmill does roll in it quite well. It's level, but as you can see, it's easy to push. Clears everything. Which is important and uh, yeah I mean the build probably cost me about six hundred dollars and that was the uh, angle iron was about four hundred dollars in the uh, cross metal uh, it's a six by three all I got left to do now is I'm gonna drill holes through this and have like a pin I could put maybe one on each end on each side uh, so when I travel down the road I don't have to strap it I can put the pins in and it won't move road worthy has to be inspected and I'll have to get lights chains, safety chains and all that which is not that hard but uh, yeah if I'm gonna do that I'll put a better axle on it and uh, fenders probably but I'll make the axle where it's removable so I can take it off yeah so uh, the cut capacity now is 21 feet 